Hi everybody, this is Kevin and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Bitmap Books here, which you may remember I did a video back in October talking about this book called A Guide to Japanese Role Playing Games. And it was available for pre-order back in October and supposedly shipped right at the end of October around Halloween. But I literally just got these in the mail the other day and they came from the United Kingdom. So that's probably the reason why, you know, the delay with the the shipping crisis and everything, but I actually have three of these books because I got the guide to Japanese role-playing games and they have quite a selection if you're into like big hard covers and video games and art books. So I sort of splurged and bought three of them. So I don't know which is which. Um, it came in a, a bag, which I unwrapped the bag and there's these three little boxes inside. So we're gonna do an unboxing here and just show you what I got. So, oh, that's pretty good. It's nice and easy to open that. And uh, they came from the, the UK, so the, the price was in pounds. It was like 30 something pounds. I don't know what that translates to for US dollars. I think it was close to like 40 bucks, but I ordered these back in, I wanna say October, the end of October, and just getting them now in the beginning of December. So I think this is the guide to Japanese role-playing games. I heard about these books from a few of the video game YouTubers I watch. They were talking about it and saying to pre-order it, and they, they just look so beautiful. I said, I gotta, I gotta buy these, man. They look so nice. And I'm a big collector of these types of books. So they shipped it very well here, nice and uh, wrapped up so there's no damage. And this is it right here, man. Oh, there's plastic surrounding it as well. Wow, oh my God, how many pages is even, even is this? But this is the main one, a guide to Japanese role-playing games. Look how thick that is, dude, holy crap. Let's see, welcome to the world of Japanese role-playing games. Video game, video role-playing games adapted for computers from their pen to paper forebears have been around since the earliest days of digital gaming. Despite initial similarities to Western games, Japan's output began diverging in dramatic ways, inspired by its own culture and art, producing a style of game that's often widely different from its Western counterparts. From Dragon Quest to Final Fantasy, from Megami Tensei to Pokemon, this tome explores the expansive history of Japanese role-playing games, beginning on 8-bit microcomputers and following them all the way to the heavy hitters of the modern era. Included are reviews of over 600 games covering a wide range of subgenres, including strategy RPGs like Fire Emblem, roguelikes such as Mystery Dungeon, and first-person dungeon crawlers like Etrian Odyssey, as well as articles on the genre, its music, and art. Let the adventure commence. Hell yeah, dude, so... Let's, let's bust this open. I'll have to do a separate video just going to this book in greater detail because this is just like a first impression sort of unboxing type of video. But holy crap, dude, look at the artwork on it. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, man. So it's over 600 pages. Here's all the contributors. Wow. What is what is Jeremy J, man? Uh, if you don't know that, what are you in this book for? So, I mean, this looks incredible just by flipping through it real quick. I don't know if I can recommend getting this as a Christmas gift because of how long it took to ship. And I mean, we're already in like the first week of December, you know, with, with the shipping crisis and everything. I don't know if you'll get this in time to get this as a Christmas gift for anybody. But, um... You know, I got this for myself just to, to add to my collection of other great hardcovers and whatnot. Oh, look at this beautiful pixel art, man. Oh, I love it. So, well, let's just open to like a random page here. Legend of Heroes. Wow, man, this is crazy. I can't wait to look at this in greater detail. Perso the Persona games. It's got everything here. I'm sure it's all in like alphabetical order. Uh, Radiata, oh, is Radiant Historian here? Radiant Historia. Is one of my favorite games of all time for the Nintendo DS, and then the I wouldn't I, the re-release on the 3DS. It had more features to it. There's Chrono Cross, Xeno Gears, dude. If you guys are into Xeno Gears, you got to check out the Resident Arc Xeno Gears podcast. That was over 20 episodes, varying from two hours to four hours each. Just going into the lore of that game, so good. I want to replay this game so badly. And I really hope the rumors are true about them doing a remaster of this. Put it on the, the PlayStation Network, at least, or Steam or something. 
Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh man, Mother, Mother and Earthbound, yep, Mother 3. Where's Mother 4? Is that ever coming out? I know people are always like talking about Mother 4, if that's gonna see the light of day. Maybe it was, it was like a fan game, the Dot Hack series. Oh man, so if you guys wanna see like a separate video of me going in depth in this book, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna have to sit down and, and really dissect it, but there's only so much I can do in this video. You know, because <laughs> it's over 600 pages. Oh, look, there's Bra there it is, Rated Historia, dude. This game, you got to check this game out. This is one of my favorite games of all time for the DS and 3DS from Atlas Games. So good, man. I love it. So, wow, man. Absolutely incredible. I'll have links in the description down below to check out Bitmap Books and, in particular, this book here. Incredible, dude. So... Oh my god. <laughs> so let's check out the other ones because I did order a few other books as you saw here, but I forget what, what they were. <laughs> I just saw them as I was checking this out and said, oh shit, let me get some more stuff. So let's check out what this one was. But they, they shipped it extremely well. This is a little smaller. No damages whatsoever. So let's see what this one is. This is the SNES Super Famicom Visual Compendium, which is like pixel art and stuff. You know, I'm a big fan of uh, SNES games, pixel art, so I figure, why not? Let me just pause this so I can get like a, a knife or something to cut that open easier. Okay. So, let's see what this is all about. So this has like a slip cover. And these are just like images, I guess, from... Uh, all the, all the games from the SNES and little excerpts about them. Oh, wow. Mario Paint. So this is some cool stuff if you're a fan of SNES games. I'm a big fan of the pixel art, so that's why I decided to pick this one up, I guess. Mortal Kombat. So there you go. Oh, there's some box art as well. Donkey Kong Country. Earthworm Jim. Nice. So we'll leave that there. And then for the final book I got, which again, I forget, the only one I remember ordering explicitly was the guide to Japanese role playing games. Which this one, oh, this is another pixel book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the pixel artwork. So I was, uh, Looking at everything, and I said, "Oh, let me get, let me get some more of these." I don't want to show the knife on camera because who the hell knows what the deals with YouTube? They'll probably think I'm threatening somebody. <laughs> uh, so it's cool. I like how they have them all sort of different, like the the guy in Japanese. Role-playing games is just a big old hard cover. The other one was a slip cover. This one's got a slip cover as well with the book inside. Let's, oh, shit. Uh-oh. Let's get that <laughs> back in order. And if this can come out. Come on. There we go. So, yeah, here's some more pixel artwork. Dragon Quest. Oh my God, this is just awesome, man. <laughs> There's Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Mario 3. This is the um, All-Stars, where they had the four games on the SNES. Super Mario World, Chaos Bunny. 
Wow. This is just incredible, man. So, uh, yeah, I'll end it here because we're over 10 minutes. But thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of these books here? I'll have a link in the description to check out Bitmap Books' website. Although, and I highly recommend the site just because look how high quality these books are. But I don't know if, if you're looking for like a Christmas gift, I don't think that they'll arrive in time, to be honest with you guys, because I ordered these back in October and I'm just getting them now. And they, they're coming from the United Kingdom. They're uh, from out of the country, so all the way across the pond for me. So, I mean, I, I can't really guarantee that they'll arrive in time for Christmas if you're getting a Christmas gift, but they're still great to have as far as if, if you're a collector like myself. And, uh, oh, dude, I'm going to start reading this right away as soon as I start ending the video, you know? I can't wait to dive into this one. So thanks, everybody. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. And tomorrow night, the finale of my live stream of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I hope to see you all there. Have a great day.